Hey guys, it's Em. Um, I just wanted to do a makeup tutorial tonight because I'm super bored and Spooks works till like 2 in the morning and bored. But yeah, I figure I don't have anything else better to do because for some reason my authenticator on WoW like crashed and I can't log in and Blizzard hasn't sent me a response email like they sent me a response like oh try this and this should fix it I'm like duh I'm not a freaking idiot like I've tried that already and so I replied and I sent them like my crash report and everything and they haven't said anything yet so oh I'm dying <laughs> can't play WoW mm. so yeah that's where this tutorial came from and this is sort of like either uh, a drag look or just like a super bold look and it's very very glittery as you can see with some red lips and yeah so here we go I hope you like it okay so first of all we're gonna start with um, Urban Decay primer potion as usual I was a fan of the MAC primers but um, I, I also wasn't a fan because they come in like, you know, the typical little MAC things like this, but there's like a screw on lid. And so you have to kind of put your finger or a brush in there and it was kind of like, I don't like things in containers like lip balm where it's just messy. I don't know. And it was too thick. So I switched to the primer potion. So I'm just going to put that on. Not very much, like that much. And put that on. Doop, doop, doop all over my lid and up a little bit and in the corner and you just want to wait for that to dry for about a minute or so um, just until you can touch it and it doesn't really feel that tacky anymore because if you start putting the eyeshadow on when it's still wet it gets like kind of clumpy and weird so yeah my hair is kind of channeling like if, if Sora just rolled out of bed, I'm not really sure what's going on here, but it's late and I can't be bothered to fix it, really. So now that that's pretty much dry, um, I'm going to take a sort of shimmery white eyeshadow, and this is the ELF brand, which I like to call ELF because it's way cuter. And I love, like, my high-end makeup, but I also love ELF just because it's so cheap. This was probably like a dollar, I don't even know, and it also works really well. This color is called Angelic. My camera's not going to focus because it's a tart. Okay. Anyway, um, this is a loose shimmery white. And this is what it looks like. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Oh, it looks super weird in this light. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm just going to use a little bit on my MAC shadow brush, which looks... Oh, Lord, I can't do this. Which looks like this. I used to use my fingers for makeup, but then I was like, I don't know, I was like 14 to 16, and then I found the amazingness that is a brush. So it would be really, really hard to do this tutorial if I just was using my fingers, so yeah. Um, so you're just gonna wanna put that in the corner, definitely, and bring it down a little and bring it across your lid to about here. It's not like there's still like a lot of corner here left, but it's, it's not all the way there. Um, and the reason I'm just using this white is because just in case there's gaps in the glitter, which there most likely won't be, but if there is, it's a really nice filler so you can't really tell. You know what? I should just go out like this. Screw it, I'm leaving. Drink time, woo! Just kidding. So now that that's done, um, the next step is to take, this sounds weird if you've never heard of this, but it's magical. Um, to get this super awesome cut crease right here, you need sketch tape or whatever tape, but this is like the best tape, just regular clear and you want to cut a strip of that and put it, start it from like right where your eyelashes end in the corner right here and just kind of angle it up like so. Yep. And this is gonna feel super weird, but whatever. Next I'm taking a MAC color called Beauty Marked that is black and it's got red glitter in it, but you can't really see the red glitter that much. 
it's just a nice little accent. But if you don't have this color, then just any like deep black um, will be perfect. So I'm gonna, sorry this lighting is super sucky. My light makes it look weird, watch. See, weird. Um, so I'm just gonna take it and get the corner up right where the scotch tape is. This is hard to do with my camera right here, I'm sorry. I'm gonna zoom out a little. Nope, nope. And kind of just get it in the corner like this. And start to push it out into your crease. Like, I hope you can see this. This is a really weird angle for me. My, literally my camera is on a singular pole tripod and it's taped to my mirror. Like, that's how ridiculous my setup is right now. But anyway, so just take it along the crease. And um, it's kind of easier to use this as a guide and just kind of push it out in sort of an arch. But it's more or less kind of like straight line, but I don't know, I'm way better at just showing than describing, so just watch. <laughs> That's all I can say right now. I'm also really tired. <laughs> But I was bored, so I was like, meh, why not, why not? And don't take it all the way in the corner. As you can see from the side, it's just like, kind of stops right here. But it's nice to just kind of push that out and just keep blending it up here so you get a soft blend. Make sure they're sort of even. My camera is tilted, so this is weird, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna just complain about my camera the whole time. Blah, blah, blah. People are gonna love that. Don't forget to blend where it meets the white too, but don't push it out too far. Okay. So after that's done, um, I need to zoom out because this is, whoa, whoa. Okay, all right. So after that's done, you're gonna take, um, probably a lot of you won't have cosmetic glitter glue. So if you don't, just use um, eyelash glue. And Duo is the best eyelash glue ever. Like, this is what you should get. So if you if you don't have this glitter glue or any glitter glue, then use this. But I have um, Too Faced Shadow. It's called Shadow Primer Glitter Glue, and it's sparkly. Yay! And I love this stuff. It's so, so awesome. You barely need anything. And then um, just rub it everywhere where the white is. And try not to get it on the black part too much, but it's okay if you just get it on the edges, you know? Okay. And the awesome stuff about this is you don't have to wait for it to dry, because the tackier it is, it's, you know, it's the better. Because that made sense. Next, I'm taking this really super pretty glitter. Um, it's also from Too Faced. It's weird, because I'm usually such a MAC person, but I'm using a lot of Too Faced recently, so... Um, it looks like this. The color is called Blue Angel. And there's a lot of glitter in here, but it's really pretty. Um, it's a, just a really white with glitter with a blue tint. And here's what I like to do to make it easier. I take a square of toilet paper, fold it in half, and then what you're going to do um, after this next step is you're gonna put it like right where your eyelashes are to catch any of the glitter so the rest of your face isn't like glitter herpes. So what I do is like I kind of scoop the glitter with my brush like this so you've got like just a nice little little scoop glitter. So take this put it just to cover your eyelashes and then pat the glitter over the white and make sure to pat it don't rub it because you'll get pregnant and die just get it a little onto the black but not too much and once you feel like 
it's covering your eyelid for the most part, you can be done. I'm going to put it in the corner a little bit more. Yeah! My hand! Oh my goodness. This is what happens when Bella gives Edward a hand job. Right here. That was uncalled for. I'm sorry. <laughs> then, um, you're going to take a liquid eyeliner. And I'm using All May because I'm out of MAC. Mm. Um, and just line your top lid. My dog is eating something and it's really distracting. Hey, I'm Julia Childs and I've retired from cooking and decided to do makeup videos. Yeah. And just kind of bring it up a little bit on the tape. It's just like a basic, um, like winged liner shape, but a little bit thicker. Okay, now doo -doo -doo, you can take this tape off. Ah, uh, ah, uh, zombie, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, whoo. This tape is like way stickier than normal scotch tape. Then um, I'm using mascara from Too Faced, go figure. Uh, this is Lashgasm and it's freaking retarded because my camera won't focus. There we go. It's called Lashgasm. So it is the size of your lashes that matter. Blah, blah. This mascara is awesome. So, blah, blah, blah. If you don't know how to put on mascara, then you should probably watch another tutorial first. <laughs> so, there you go. There's mascara. Now, normally here I would put on some fake lashes, but I'm not going to put on fake lashes at the end of the night when I'm probably not going out <laughs> and I'm super lazy. So yeah. Then I'm using a super black eyeliner for the bottom part and I'm using um, a MAC grease paint stick. I couldn't tell you what color it is because I love it so much that everything has worn off. <laughs> but it's super kind of chubby and it looks like these. And I'm not gonna go fully on the like across my lower waterline but like halfway, a little more than halfway. Like that. I hope you guys, I hope this is close enough so you guys can see. Hmm. I just don't care tonight. I just, I don't care about anything. Ha ha. Hey, don't eat my underwear, jerk. That's so gross. You are such a creeper. If there's a dog sex offender list, I am registering you. And to finish it off, I'm using a MAC blush that's super pretty, and it is called Koi Girl. And um, this is my favorite brush to use for blush because it's like angly, so I feel like it just like, it's just really nice. I don't know. I'm not using too much, um, just a little bit, but just right here. Because it's easy to put blush on, but it's really hard to take it off. So, yeah. And what I love about this look is that you could pretty much use any color lipstick you wanted because it's so, like, monochromatic. But um, the lipstick I am going to use is called Adora, and it's by Kat Von D. It's so tiny because it's in this awesome, like, sample pack thing that I bought. Because there's two colors that I wanted, but the full size is way more money than I wanted to pay for, and... Uh, both the colors I wanted were in this set, so. See, this is like a normal size lipstick tube, and this is the... It's so cute! See, it's time. <laughs> yeah, this color is super pretty, though. And normally I would be using a brush, but I, it's so tiny, it doesn't really matter. Also, normally, um, before lipstick, I would use this Urban Decay Lip Primer Potion. Um, it looks like this. It's super waxy, but it's pretty awesome. But um, 
Obviously, since I'm not going out, I don't really care. <laughs> so this is just a nice touch that I like to do sometimes, um, just to make lipstick pop a little bit. I'm going to go back with that same ELF uh, shimmery white and just use a little bit on my lips. <laughs> that was a little gay. <laughs> Just right in the middle. And yeah, it is okay to use eyeshadow on your lips. Crazy, I know, right? No. <laughs> but seriously, it's fine. But yeah, so there you go. And um, I'd probably use a gloss over. Something... Um, clear or red maybe but yeah so that's it but yeah um that's it i hope you like this look it's super dramatic but i love dramatic makeup i rarely do natural makeup ever like seriously i'll just go out but, and it's not weird for people because i always look like this you know like not always glittery um but yeah it's always kind of crazy so if, if you're not a person that wears bold makeup a lot, I would say just just start out gradual, if you want to, I mean, just start out gradual and like just keep using brighter and brighter colors and eventually you'll just be able to wear it every day and not even remember you're wearing it because people just know it's you, you know. So yeah, I hope you like it and stay tuned for more makeup tutorial videos. Bye!